one, Dan here. Uh, I promised a young man that I would um, talk about an issue that he's having with using his new uh, steel straight shaft weed eater. He said he's gouging a lot and he's used to using a curved shaft. So I said in my next video that I do, which I was planning on doing today, I wanted to show him uh, something to think about. Number one, make sure that this handle you can loosen it and it comes it came with a tool but you can loosen it right here make sure it's not too far down where you're you're like this or too far back where you got like no control you're like this all right number one so make sure you're you got a good it's it's pretty good for reference here's my ribs and my ribs so pretty much my hands are on on right each side of my ribs that's a reference for you um that's number one. Number two, a lot of the problem that you're probably having is curved shafts probably spin the other way. Um, and straight shafts spin counterclockwise. Right? Counterclockwise or clockwise? They spin <laughs> counterclockwise. So if you're used to it spinning clockwise, then that's going to be a problem right off the bat. That's just something you're just going to have to get used to. But the biggest thing is with the weed eater spinning counterclockwise, you might be coming in and gouging with the three o'clock position on your weed eater head. And to fix that, all you gotta do is loosen up your handle and move your handle down a little bit this way, tighten it up so when you grab the handle at this angle, watch the head. It moves the head back. So more of the, the nine o'clock position, the back of the head, is actually now making some contact rather than the front of the head gouging as you weed it along. Simply moving your hand on the grip like this, just move the back, move it back, you know, move it to the nine o'clock. God, it's windy, you probably can't hear shit. So that's the biggest thing I want you to think about. Number one, the rotation is probably different. That's just gonna take time for you to get used to. Number two, make sure the handle is where you need it not down here and not too close here so you have good control that's up to you all right and number three adjust your handle so the back of the head is more you know to the ground than the front or this is going to gouge right in you don't want to do that you want to make sure it's it's level and you do that with a comfortable grip and that's that's where that's how you adjust it so every time you grab this it's always in the same position because that's what you're going to be comfortable with. So loosen and move the handle to adjust the rotation of your head. All right, cool. Okay, we're going to do something different today. Um, I want it to be a dramatic difference while I'm weed eating. I want you guys to be able to see it. We're going to go ahead and weed eat my backyard and we're going to do it in what's called motion time lapse. So we're going to insert music because the volume is going to go off. There'll be no audio on motion time lapse. But everybody knows what time lapse is. You know, that's when you shoot the sky or whatever and then you fast forward it like 25 to 40 times its original speed and a 20 minute video turns out to be about 17 seconds of time lapse of you know cars going by really really fast um, clouds going by really fast people whatever uh, that's time lapse motion time lapse is having motion in your camera while you're time lapse recording for you know later playback as a time lapse so we're gonna do motion time lapse the gimbal that I have, I can program the gimbal to start at a certain place and motorize itself all the way around to where I tell it to stop and I can tell it how long I want it to take. In that time, I'm going to try to stay on frame and weed eat my backyard as the motion time lapse is recording. Should be pretty trick if this comes out cool. If not, we'll scrap it. Let's give it a shot.
Sorry, man, I'm a mess. Uh, but anyways, that's the sort of stuff I like to do for you guys. Try things out. So that was called motion time lapse. So um, we did 10 minutes this way, 10 minutes back that way, and then five minutes this way. And the hard part for me is to try to stay in frame. I have no idea if I'm in frame or not. Uh, it's very hard to tell if, as the, the camera's moving. It's hard to know if I'm doing it good. So we'll go back, we'll edit it, we'll put this up. And young man that uh, asked me to comment about the weed eater, I hope that helps you out. Just remember to adjust the handle. And uh, tell me about the whistle. Oh, this is...